Uh, back on this tub, this should be number two. Grab out this area. Well, I cut the crack down so I could level it. And spread this filler on here, which will harden up, which I'm hoping will hold it in place so I can grind it a little bit better. And then I'm going to go ahead and glass this crack. You know what I'm talking about? Normally I would use some screws, which I have here, but this is pretty, uh, one side's acting up, like one side's like being, like bouncing out further. Usually when you hit, usually when you separate the crack and grind the crack like that, it just kind of naturally falls back into place where it's supposed to be. And you gotta use like some slight adjustments with the screw, I'll hold it in place. A little spot, a little spot here and there. But this kept on bouncing the screws out. So I would just hold it. You think they're gonna copyright infringe me? Yep. For the Jeopardy song? Definitely. <laughs> yeah, huh? This should take like seven minutes. I don't know if I think it can hold on that long. Alright. So, that's all dried up. And pretty leveled up. I ground this back down to the crack essentially um it's not level i'm gonna i dished it out so there's room to fill in the fiber and then i will level that afterwards so right now i'm gonna cut some strips throw in there and put some resin and let that stuff dry kick off Oh my god. Got this fiber on here. Gotta wait for it to dry a little bit. We're gonna hit a little bit with a grinder and block it out with some 36 paper or 80 grit. Make sure nice and smooth. Hit it with one more pack of the filler we got. Sand that down. Maybe one more time with filler. Sand that and then we're gonna match and spray some gel coat. <laughs> 